Hi everyone, welcome back to Greybeard Droning. It's Thursday the 5th of October 2023, match day. Royal Union St. Galois visit Anfield tonight for the Europa League class with Liverpool. They are workers on site but they're all inside the stand of Anfield Road. Maybe they didn't work on the concourse. I don't know about the seating situation if they're carrying on putting the seats in. Hopefully they are. They'll get the drone up. We'll have a look. If you like what you see, click like, share, subscribe. Without further ado, let's get that drone up. And welcome back everyone, we're airborne. Had to wait about 40 minutes for the drizzle to stop, but we're finally airborne. We start with the right hand side. I didn't think there was going to be many about today on site, but there is. Which is good. We start to the right. As we can see, BT. BT have arrived and the rest of the other TV, TV crews who are covering the game tonight. The Liverpool Football Club against Royal Union St. Galois. Hopefully they'll be leaving Anfield tonight with zero points. Hopefully we, we will get back to winning ways after that farcical game at the weekend. We'll start on this right hand side. So that car park is always going to be reserved for the TV crews. Here's a couple of platforms up further up, but we'll have a look at that in a bit. Must be break time for him down there, unless it's a steward guarding the area. But ain't gonna be much happening on this side when it's pretty much cordoned off for the TV crew sections and vehicles. So we'll go around to this side. Happening down there. Spotted a guy on just under the roof there. There's a few guys doing some odd jobs, is it? Just underneath the stand section. Can't quite make out what they're up to. Just doing some little cosmetic jobs under there. Guy on round. When I first arrived, most of the workers were already inside. We could hear power tools going off and all sorts. So, where bit of work was going on on the concourse. It's good to see two platforms up both together. Um, they're wanting to get that section chalked off, bricked up, and finished. I reckon they'll get that done today. You can see all those guys inside as well. Doing the work on, on the concourse. So quite a, I mean, it's about half ten in the morning. A lot of the away fans have started to arrive already. Car park isn't that busy, is it? So I'm not sure if the workers have parked somewhere else for today. Possibly, because this car park is reserved on match days for VIPs, guests and such. So but there's a lot of the way fans buses parked over there behind them trees. There's a little three or four that arrived when I came. Let's try and get done before the rain comes back because it's, it is going to be here all day, unfortunately. So we're going to climb. Oh, 
We're going to go along the Chicken and Ugly Stand. And try and get done as soon as possible. And that pitch is looking immaculate, isn't it? Ready for the match after. I'm going to go for a 3-1 victory for Liverpool against St. Galois. I'll be happy with that. So the bottom tier is all ready. The away fans cordoned off there. And the other home fans on the other right-hand side section. Go forward and lower a bit. So, yeah, there's a few work guys up there. That section's all pretty new now, isn't it? Looking good. I believe the only section that hasn't been seen got no seats in yet is the second section across I believe is still waiting seats but you can see all the fixtures are now in place pretty much everywhere so I think that 61 target is very achievable I'll go back up and back out Let me know your predictions in the comment section and do you think the 61,000 capacity is going to be achievable for the Everton game? I am confident, I really am now confident. Still don't think any of them seats have been used at all or touched. I'm guessing is that going to be waste? That just looks the same as it it was to me when Buckingham was still here. So so all these pallets have gone now that were surrounded in the forever stones. Yeah those guys will definitely get done won't they? That small section. I am just so eager to see the ground work begin. Just gonna fly slowly along the back. One last time for today. I might put a couple of comparison clips on from where we were from the second tier of the old stand being taken down to where we are now. Um, from about three or four months ago now, I, th I think. That car park should be filling up pretty quickly soon. So you let them guys finish off that section. And I guess after that, they'll be concentrating on this shoulder here. Good luck to Liverpool tonight. Let's grab one point, guys. Let's get back to winning ways after that farce at the weekend, which wasn't your fault. But when you can't rely on officials, what can you rely on in the game? We're going to wrap it up there all. If you like what you saw, click like, share, subscribe. Wherever you are in the world, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the game if you're going, or if you're going to the bar, pubs and watching. Wherever you are, cheer on the boys. We're going to take them points. And then let's get back to the league and win in the games again. Take care now.